And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some out of the way Riven. We got some crazy stuff going on here, but first we're going to be playing Riven with out of the way. Um, Riven and Tarek. Out of the way, of course, uh, this is a KDA card for the rest of the game. All of your allied buffs, except barrier, are permanent. And that matters with Riven, because Riven can create these blade fragments. They can give you plus two, plus zero, or overwhelm, or quick attack. Well, if you've already played an out of the way, then those are permanent instead of this round. So you can make your thing always have quick attack, or overwhelm, or just permanent plus two, plus zero buffs. So that's going to be pretty nice. Oops. And we're going to be combining that, of course, with Tarek. They can copy it over. Tarek supports uh, the ally and gives them tough, which, of course, they, they will have forever. But if you have a level up Tarek, then it has the they can't take damage or die this round. Well, it won't be this round. They just won't be able to take damage or die ever, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Other cool things we have in here. Kato, plus three, plus zero, overwhelm forever. Stop. There we go. Brutal Hunter uh, will always be a quick attack challenger. Um, let's see, uh, Legion Drummer supports and gives quick attack. That will always be, you know, quick attack forever. So the Sol Solari Soldier will just, you know, be a 3-3. Three, three. Pill Cascade gives a permanent plus two, plus one buff. Same with Transfusion, a permanent plus two, plus two buff. Might, permanent plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm, granting both of those. And then we have one other cool thing in here that I kind of hid down at the bottom. Survival Skills. So... Uh, we're not really going to be discarding it, but we're going to be casting it. So allies can't drop below one health this round. But that's, again, a this round thing. If we play out of the way first, then that buff is permanent. So if we play out of the way, and then we cast survival skills, allies can't drop below one health. So every single ally that we have in play just won't be able to drop below one health. So that could be really cool, um, basically giving them all indestructible um yeah so that that's a cool combo so we got that in here also um so is this going to be too slow maybe will this actually work who knows out of the way is, is very expensive at five mana but we got some really cool combos in here and we're gonna have fun with it it's meme tier monday let's go we're gonna go play our five games in normal so is that hecarim we're going to go ahead and... I mean, I like Legion Drummer, but we already have a 1-2-3. Cool, we have our first card. We have one card for our combo with the survival skills. Now, if we find... Um, out of the way. We can have out of the way plus the survival skills. Okay, my bad. My bad on like the <laughs> coughing. <Follow> the horizon. <laughs> Trifarian glory seeker. I am the blade in the darkness. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? Brutal Hunter is going to be a pretty cool card next turn with us having the attack token, quick attack challenger. I don't like this. I was hoping they'd be scared. What kind of pump spell are they playing? Like, just the Mark of the Isles? Because if it's Mark of the Isles, that's fine. Because <clears throat> that kills Zed. You know, we trade Riven for Mark of the Isles and Zed. A Shadow Shift? That's also kind of fine. That just puts Zed back in their hand. Okay, so I think if I just play the Brutal Hunter... <clears throat> oh, Haunted Relic. That's annoying. Because I wanted them to play Zed, and then I play Glory Seeker and give Glory Seeker quick attack, right? Like, that's that's what I wanted to do. It just doesn't even make sense to attack. Like, we just don't even have to. Well, Punish, I should have just done the 8 damage. Wow, the eight damage. Ooh, okay, we got it. Out of the way survival skills. It is gonna take a little bit of. It's gonna take a, a little bit of mana that I don't have. Okay. 
All right, we're taking a big hit here this turn. So next turn, I'm looking at six additional mana. I have three right now, so I'm looking at having nine mana in total. I'm spending five of it on survival skills, so that means I have an additional four mana to use. How do I want to use that four mana? Probably, I want to go wide, so probably Soldier and Glory Seeker. And then I have one mana for like a Blade Fragment. Okay. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Oh, don't do that, nickname. Don't do that. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Don't give my opponent den don't say my opponent has deny. No, they don't have deny. Don't give them deny. No, this is gonna work. They're not going to deny this. This is going to work. Yes, it worked. Oh, look at that cool animation with the survival skills. The eyes. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That cool animation that it had. All right. Well, quick attack doesn't really matter anymore. Let's go with... I guess it matters to keep them from them healing their nexus. But I want to, I want to challenge the Zed. Yeah, it doesn't. I'll just do overwhelm over here. So it's still died to Ephemeral. Ooh, Tarek's good. So we take two. Oh, it's one. We don't really need to take two. If they want to use a, a pump spell here to kill this thing instead of a pump spell here to save their Hecarim, I'm fine with that. No, they still take damage, but they just can't drop below one. But they still they still take all the damage. They just can't they just can't drop below one health. It's like they're still taking all the damage, as far as that's concerned. Oh, I guess, yeah, they only took one I guess it's, the soldier only took one damage, though. They only healed their nexus for one, so it's still... Okay, it's not taking all the damage. Oh, wait. I'm full board. Right. Uh, I could put it on the floor seeker, whatever. So there we go. That's That's pretty cool. Out of the way with survival skills. That's a cool combo. We are learning. All right, got the win. Zoe Z. Double Z, Zoe Z. Again, another deck with Deny, maybe. And we'll keep this. We got her out of the way. We can get that out of the way. But we also have, you know, a good curve to start with. Soldier and Rune Weaver to reforge. Channel point bets are up. Y'all get them in. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. So we got the combo, but the combo is not going to help us block an elusive, and I don't have a challenger. So maybe I go with 
Maybe I just don't play this, go with the out of the way this next turn. Punish transgressions. Ah, uh, they have that thing. Alright, maybe I need to have... Probably need to have, like, a blocker for that, I guess. Like, Pale Cascade Transfusion. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try this. I don't know. I just don't really want their Zed dealing damage to me, of course, but... It would be nice to have the out-of-the-way played first. Please don't have it, opponent. Please don't have it. Just let the damage happen. Yay! Okay, we have a chance. Game's still on. We march as one, an unstoppable force. See the world through new eyes. Wow. This is... Man, Zoe is good. And Zoe's about to level up. Show them the might of Noxus. Follow the horizon. Defy and resist. Wow. They blocked with Zoe. That probably means they have another Zoe in, in hand. But I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised at that block. The Yordle here is with me. Ours is the one true light. Of course, I want to play Kato this turn, so we'll just play that in Kato. Harvey's been just rolling around. Oops. I love doggos being doggos. The world awaits. Forward. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nazis. These hands no matter. Overwhelm? Plus two plus zero. So, you give you quick attack, who gives you plus three, plus zero, and you can quick attack. No, it should actually be, wait, you should do this. And then, let's... Punish transgressions. Six, seven, eight. I give you monsters. So eight overwhelms. So that's definitely five damage there. And then they block these other three and they take another uh, five. So they take ten. So, um, yeah, unless they have a one cost spell, they're taking ten. And that'll be game. That's what you get for denying my out of the way. That's what they get for denying my out of the way. Okay. 
Two and oh. GG's. Okay, another Ionia deck. No champions. So are we going elusives? Or are we going um, the Undying? Either way, Hush is going to be good. And I want to keep out of the way. I may not really need out of the way plus survival skills if it's elusives. So maybe I should be mulliganing the out of the way. Looking for our champions. Stop. Alright, well sometimes dogs being dogs is cool when they're like rolling around and stuff, and then when they just start barking all the time. Maybe not as cool. Okay, so we're a Vile Feast deck. So are we just like a Ledros Control deck? That's also the other option. There's a lot of things you can do with Shadow Isles and no champions. And Ionia and no champions. So this could be a Ledros Atrocity Control deck. Playing like Deny. They can have the... 3 mana 5, if they're going the control deck, they maybe have the 3 mana 5-5 five, five, Ephemeral and Death, you know, that, that combo with Deathmark, Darkwater Scourge and Deathmark combo. I'm gonna kinda just pass, Let's see what they do. Yeah, it could be a go-get-it Ledros deck. Absolutely. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Will you stop? I will play my part. Defend the Empire. I mean, Zoe's a one mana card. Like, what? I don't understand how you can expect more out of a one mana card than what Zoe does, just creating awesome spells for free. It's a one-mana card. The opportunity cost of playing it at one mana is so low. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. You can play Zoe without protection, still. Like, it, it, it's not even about, like, the le yes, the level up's awesome, but you, you don't need to just focus on the level up to make, to say that you, that Zoe's not good unless you can level up Zoe. It's about the Nexus Strike, create a super cool star chart. Each life, a rare jewel. Yeah, Zoe always trades up in mana, right? Like, it's very rare that they have a one mana card to kill your Zoe and that it trades even on mana. It's very rare. It's usually gonna, you know, trade with two plus mana removal spells. At like the very worst for you, right? Like that's like the worst case is like it gets file feasted. Best case, it Nexus strikes them, you get a super cool star chart, and then it trades up on removal. And so you trade up on mana, you got a free card. Back to playing some more Terex. I'm gonna play the Rune, we Rune Weaver and Reforge again. I don't want to play any more threats because of Ruination. Okay, like as long as they're using like removal spells, which I like seeing. I like seeing that go hard because I I don't think that they're going to be playing four go hards for a pack your bag. So I'm not worried about that. So I like them putting more go hards in their deck because I don't, you know, it's just a one mana deal one, so they can put more of those in their deck. Um, what do you have? Overwhelm. Look sharp. Unyielding. So now this thing's a five three, tough. Overwhelm. You cannot escape. Tough times two. Double tough.
Okay. Well, they didn't do any blocking. Still take the eight because of the overwhelm. Silent as death. Yeah, what if tough stacked? And so, it, what if tough stacked? Silent as death. Tough stacking would be pretty silly. Alright, I'll play one more thing out. Yes! I will play my part. I guess they can still ruination, but oh, they only have eight mana, so they can't ruination. Bless the faithful and see but ruination can still kill this, because that's not about health. So it's basically Ruination or Bust right now. For them. cast this blade of the exile i guess like how much do i want to play into ruination because i mean i could attack here they they just do their blocking and then they ruination any and so like i'm ruination just really hurts me anyway like no matter what i do devotion to battle punish transgressions you're mine never submit It's too late. Yeah, I should just attack. I hope they have a bunch of Withering Whales and Grass the Undyings. And Gohards. It's too late for you. Yeah, you can have a bunch of those. be immediately leveled. They cannot hide. Okay, that's a great sign. Well, I guess it's not necessarily a great sign. Now that's a great sign. Okay. So I'm playing the Blade of the Exile now, by the way. I'm going to just put it on the Ribbon. But I'm playing it now because I'm not going to, like, play it before attacking, right? It's slow speed. I'm not going to give them the opportunity. All right, that's fine. Well, I guess... Oh, I guess... So I need to I need to have this in play. Hmm. Or no, no, no. Okay, no, I can just play whatever we get with Ribbon. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Because I need to level up this Tarek before attacking, and so we get the Blade Fragment. Cool. Plus two, plus zero. That's a good one. So that's going to level up Tarek. And so now Tarek's going to do the I can't take damage or die. So now Tarek doesn't even die to ru to Ruination or Vengeance either. And so we're going to put have Tarek support the Riven, so the Riven doesn't die either. And then we'll have y'all just attack like this. 
Never submit. It's now both the Taric and the Riven. Never die. You cannot escape. So. <laughs> so Terra can't ever take. You know, it has like that symbol, so it can never take damage, it can never die, and it's. And it can't drop below one health. The Riven can't take damage or die. These things can take damage, but they can't drop below one health, but they can die. <laughs> this is all pretty silly. Yeah, we did face the Shadow Assassin meme deck. They did play a lot of Shadow Assassins. Oh, Will of Ionia. Bounced. Bounce my cool Taric. Oh well. We'll take it though. Three and O. At last, a way forward. Ooh, Plaza Ephemerals. Yeah, Bellybeard says my <laughs> out of the way is my favorite card. It's not very good, but it satisfies my Timmy tendencies to see all the buffs stack up. Agree, it's, it's a great one. Um, this is definitely a matchup where we're gonna want out of the way plus survival skills, right? Because we need to be able to block all these things. So we'll mulligan Kato, we'll keep uh, just some couple of units, but we really want to draw that survival skills. I've been very impressed with survival skills out of the way. I, I could see moving the survival skills to be a three of. You know, I only have uh, two of them in the deck currently, but I could certainly see moving that up to three. Gucci says my favorite card is Sky's Descend. The sound effect in animation is just amazing. That is true. Yes, Out of the Way does make the Plaza buff permanent. Yes, it would give... If you play Out of the Way and Plaza together, all of your things would enter with plus one, plus one in Challenger and keep that plus one, plus one in Challenger for the rest of the game. Um, do I want to have Taric with Pale Cascade? Heart and blade, both broken. I guess I'll just have Taric with the one mana card from the Riven because I want to play the Riven. It's either, you know, play Legion Drummer and then I can have Pale Cascade with Taric here or play Riven and then I get whatever blade fragment to go along with the Taric. Looks like our blade fragment is Overwhelm. I want to incentivize them not blocking the Taric. I don't want Taric to take any damage. Stay back. And yeah, they can. Yeah, I'll take that trade. have time. Uh, let's make those things... F and you, so those are going to be three threes, right? Yeah. Three threes don't kill these yet. Hopefully just that. If they have a sharp side also. Oh, Senna. Grand Plaza is ridiculous. My gun does the talking. I don't... Yeah, I can't... Oh, they are not... Oh, they're going for a win. I guess that's 10... I guess I didn't count that out, but that's 16 damage. Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, well, I don't have it. I don't have anything I can draw with Bell Cascade for that. <sighs> yeah, that's fair. Already broken. Completely fair. Okay, Riven and Garen. This should be another Grand Plaza deck. Unfortunately, hopefully they don't draw the Grand Plaza. That would be nice. We'll move again second Riven. Oh, 
Channel point wagering is up. You'd like to bet win or loss? Let's just go with the Rune Weaver. See, I like the Legion Drummer Glory Seeker combo. But I'll just lead with the Rune Weaver. Because I don't, you know, need them together. Yay! No Grand Plaza. Yay. We have a chance. I can finally go back home. Sturdy blades, custom made. I'll show the hunters. Hmm. Really wanted the quick attack. I guess I could play Rune Weaver and make sure we get quick attack. We march as one, an unstoppable force. To the field. Sharpen the blades. Cure the kill. Maybe I should just be killing the Battlesmith. This makes these attacks a lot better by getting rid of this thing. We'll see. got a lot of blade blade fragments we got all three and then the beginning of the, the next turn Riven will give us another one okay so we're gonna do quick attack on doesn't matter even a fragment snuffs out lives overwhelm on you Plus two, plus zero on you. I won't Wish we would have got two of the plus two, plus zeros. Use another one on Riven. The cost of war. Face me. Five. I'll just go with that. I never play around judgment. I never play around judgment. So I can I can might the Riven and do, do six damage to them. Should be ten total, put them down to seven. I'll just wait on that though. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nazis. Yeah, that was a good judgment. They got me. I write the rules of power. They got me. For justice, for Demacia. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Join the hunters, they say. They have another judgment. I sure hope not. Sure hope not. Because if they do, they probably win. But if they don't, they're going to lose. But what's the chance that they have another judgment? I mean, they've, they've played two Garens and a judgment so far. Victory, you're mine. 
Please don't have another fight spell. Just let it happen. 14. Yay. Alright, it took 14. Alright, 4 and 1 with Out of the Way Ribbon. We didn't play against all the tier 1 decks. We played against a couple of pretty good ones. I was very impressed with out of the way plus survival skills though. That was a really cool combo. Um, yeah, making that making that permanent where you can't can't below uh, can't drop below one health. That being a permanent thing. Um, it seemed like we had enough units. Maybe we don't need the brutal hunter. So maybe that could be like a, a spot that you could fit in the third survival skills if you want to keep that uh, combo alive and you know play three of each. Um, that still gives you 24 units, 24, 16. That's probably enough units. Um, yeah, that was, that was a really cool combo. And then, you know, we had our, our, uh, Riven and Rune Weaver getting us all the Reforged stuff, doing its thing. That was a pretty cool little deck here. You know, out of the way isn't, you know, it's not the best card, but I think that, that, um, as somebody was saying earlier, it's, it can be really cool. You know, it's a, this is a great Timmy card where, um, you know, when it works and you get lots of buffs on, on all sorts of stuff, it can be really cool. Now, it's it's slow speed. It's five mana. Um, you know, that's a lot of mana to spend early because you want to spend you want to play this early so that then your buffs afterwards are, are, you know, better. It's not reliable. It's a terrible top deck in the late game. But when it works, it can... Uh, present some really cool games. And I, I liked that with the survival skills. So I think that that's a nice combo. Maybe let's get three of each of those in. Okay, so there we go. That's out of the way, Riven. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, what do you think about this combo? Out of the way and survival skills. Um, you know, you got any other out of the way decks? Anything else with Riven and Tarek? Um, you know, feel free to leave those comments. Love to see those. But that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.